Hey guys, James here today and welcome to another house building video. This one is One Seaward Walk. This is one of the upper houses and I did originally say this is going to be more sort of upper class. It kind of is. It's kind of like a middle class starter home if that makes sense. I think it ends up being around 27, 26 or 27,000 uh, furnished and it comes with two bedrooms and like one bathroom and that. So it's kind of like it, it, it's... It's up there a little bit. It's, you're paying a little bit of a premium for this house, but it's quite nice. I, I'm quite happy with that. It turned out the furnishings are very basic because um, I tried to keep the cost down. Most of the cost was actually in the in the actual build itself and not so much in the furnishings. So, yeah, sorry about that, but <laughs> I did my best. So, because I've got to build a whole bunch of sort of uh, just, just family homes, you know, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, uh, I got to do some four bedrooms, you know, it's sort of all variety of middle class style houses because they can't all be mansions, they can't all be starter homes, they can't all be, they're going to have a nice, a nice range. I thought this area here, the Seaward Walk area, I thought would be sort of more middle class family homes. So at the front, I think at the front section here, right by the road, are going to be the smallest, and the house is going to gradually get bigger down this sort of lane. Because at the end, if you if you know the map, there are two two cliff lots. So there's like a smaller cliff lot and a larger cliff lot. So those can be much larger houses. At least that's my plan for this area, and that's what I'm pretty much going to be working on for the next few builds, I think. Because I think if I start focusing on certain areas uh, instead of jumping all over the world doing different builds, that... I think it just sort of helps me flow a little bit easier because uh, it just gets me to be able to do this sort of one style and um, get them all sort of working together quite nicely. Uh, so the color scheme of this one ends up being a nice brick and a siding, like a salmon colored siding, which I think look quite nice, uh, quite like quite a subtle sort of mixture of colors there. Uh, just do quite a basic little roofing here using the uh, fence from University Life there. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and by the way, I should point this out now. Uh, and I'll probably point this out in a few other videos as well. I actually have a couple of trips co uh, coming up. So I've got one trip this coming week uh, and then I've got another trip the week after. So I'm having to pre-record about two weeks of content here. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. I, I don't know when this house will be up for download on my website. It might already be, it might not be. Uh, just, just bear that in mind. Uh, but yeah, and keep that in mind for other speed builds as well. If they're not on the website, they will be uh, as soon as I can get them up there. Just keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, so just doing a nice simple roof there and some nice windows. Uh, you also notice these speed builds are obviously shorter, and that's because the houses are smaller, uh, which you may believe, may or may not believe. Uh, this is a, I think this is a four times speed, this one. So you get get quite a decent look at what's going on, and it doesn't take too long. I think this build only took me like 40, I think it was like 47 minutes or something to do this, which is it's quite good because it's quite a nice little home. Uh, quite basic, but it has everything you need to get started and, and get on with your lives. I noticed this, I was trying to keep the content for the most part uh, like base game centric because uh, while the houses themselves aren't 100% base game, they're not supposed to be, uh, I am going to be making base game versions of all the houses. So when I do come to do that, having more stuff already base game just makes that sort of conversion a little bit easier. Um, so as long as I can make them look pretty decent in base game, I'll try and use as much base game content as I can, basically, uh, is the idea behind that. Uh, just adding a little extension on the side there because I needed a bit more room in the house. Uh, so I was just adding on a little bathroom area there. Also, it made that side, that because that side of the house was quite a flat brick wall, so it looked kind of boring. So chucking that little bit of extra on there made it look a little bit nicer. And it worked a little bit better in the end. This was, this was originally a one bedroom house, but then because of the cost of the house, it and because the cost ended up being twenty six or twenty seven thousand, whatever it ended up being, I was like, this really should have a second bedroom just because it make it a little bit easy. Because that way, it can it can technically support up to like four sims or two bedrooms. You could have two kids sharing the bedroom and then two adults, or you could have three sims or two sims, whatever you want. And it should work quite nicely. Uh, so it's got mainly like an open plan kitchen diner area. So you got like the kitchen and then the living room sort of in the one space. And then the bedroom sort of around the sides. Now, I originally started this kitchen. I was like, hey, let's do a funky kitchen in here. Let's get some crazy colors. Uh, and I, did, I originally did do that. As you can see, you got that sort of turquoise sort of uh, color there. Um, and the reason I did that is because the flooring is so like beige and, and so are the walls. I was like, let's add some color in here. And uh, I, I later regret uh, doing those colors on the counters. They do change. So I, I changed the colors because it just didn't seem to, it didn't, it didn't float my boat. Uh, so I changed it up. I did colors in the chairs around the table instead. I also, I play around with them a little bit. Um, but yeah, um, so the, the exteriors of the houses, uh, 
that I'm building, I'm trying to match up with the sort of existing builds in the world. So they've got sort of steeper styled thatched roofing, the colored siding, trying to make all the houses quite colorful and quite exciting, sort of islandy, as you know. And um, just trying to make them all have a similar style, but not identical. Obviously, the, uh, the one on Nate Bay is kind of an exception in terms of the houses matching because that doesn't match at all. That's like an extravagant sort of mansion-y style build on a cliff, which I just wanted to go all out and have a bit of fun on. Um, but the sort of more middle class and sort of upper middle class homes are all going to be similar sort of styles uh, in terms of the uh, sort of color schemes and, and patterns used on them. But they'll obviously be different designs and different shapes and sizes, all that kind of stuff. Like, as you know, uh, one of the previous cliff builds I did, I think it was like two cliff something i can't remember what it's called it was the other cliff build i did a while ago uh it was a similar sort of style to this house you got the siding it had that sort of i think it was a sort of green siding and that it was on the cliff and you could sort of walk down the stairs to the beach so it's like going to be all that kind of style but you know all their unique own features and everything to make it look a little bit different but also a little bit the same because it's supposed to be a themed kind of island where everything sort of gels together quite nicely. Um, with the exception of the rabbit holes because base game rabbit holes, there's nothing I can really do about that. Uh, I mean, I could I could change uh, the rabbit holes in the full, like in the uh, expansion slash uh, store content one. And I could change them into the Sunlit Tides rabbit holes or like the Island Paradise rabbit holes, but then not everybody has those. So that's why I've just opted to go for the base game ones. Because that way then nobody is missing out and nobody sort of uh, getting sort of messed over that way. And then originally, because originally, as you know, I was going to use this sort of uh, the uh, rabbit hole uh, doors. Uh, but then I opted against that because that required custom content. I didn't I didn't really want to have to deal with all that because then, then people would be asking, how do I install it? How do I do this? How do I do that? And I don't want to be answering 100,000 emails on tech support, basically, because that's not what I do. I am not a tech support guru. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, that's why sort of rabbit holes don't match the style. I guess it kind of went off on, off on a little tangent there. Uh, anyways, the house is not too far from being done at this point, but um, I think I'm just doing the landscaping now. Oh no, I'm changing colors. Ooh. Um, cause I'm trying to, cause I, re I looked at like, I was looking at the price at this point. I was like, this house is quite expensive for the size it is. And I was like, all right, we got, we got to do something here. We got to make it a little bit cheaper. Uh, I mean, I could have made this house unfurnished so you'd move in or I could have just had the, the kitchen as basic furnishings. I think the next house will be like that or be uh, it'll be a larger house. I think I think because I'm already working on it. It has like three bedrooms. I think it does. Uh, but I might only furnish one bedroom with like just a bed and then just have a prefitted kitchen and bathroom um, because that way it would obviously make it cheaper. So you can move in, you get the basics and then you get your job and you get finish out the rest. Because um, I, I definitely need more start. Well, we've only got one real starter home in this world, and it's only a one sim starter home, so it's not exactly useful. So we need more starter homes, uh, and that's what I'm working on now in this little section of the world. Uh, yeah, and that's when I added on the second room, corrugated uh, iron room there on the side. It's a uh, it's kind of it's kind of shacky, kind of islandy feeling, I guess in a way, sort of thrown together. You know, let's just chuck another room on here. There we go. Uh, so that's like the second bedroom. Just get pretty much just a bed and a set of drawers, I think, go in the room. And that's about it. Just getting some horrible colors. I thought that looked good at the time. It doesn't. No, I never thought it looked good at the time. But it's it's supposed to be like a cheap house. And uh, it goes quite nicely with that sort of theme. Making the chairs a little bit more pastel in colors because their colors were a little bit too strong and a bit too vibrant. Uh, and now I'm just moving on to the minimal amounts of landscaping. So there's a couple of sort of shrubs uh, placed around and... Uh, and that's pretty much it. And a little bit of terrain painting. And that sort of caps off this little house here. I thought it looked kind of cool. And you'll see the pathway up to the house as well. I've sort of uh, broken it up. So it's kind of like, you know, a stepping stone kind of pathway. It also saved a bit of money. So I was like, hey, there you go. We can save a bit of money. And it also looks pretty decent too. So you have like that sort of uh, a little bit of a dirt driveway coming off the road there. So you can park your car. And uh, little shrubs out. And we'll be jumping into the screenshots here. So there's the front of the house. Uh... I mean, the outside, you've pretty much already seen the outside, but I, I think it looks quite nice for, for what it is. I think it's a very nice looking little house. Um, I quite like, quite like it. Turned out, turned out quite nicely. I mean, I, w I wish I could have done more with the furnishings, but I've, I've got to know to hold back in the right places because I need, I need houses that you can buy from the start of the game. Um, I need starter houses. Not everything can be lush and lavish and fully furnished. Uh, some things have got to be more basic. And that's what I had to do with this build. It's not as basic as it could have been, but 
I'm I'm very happy with the outside of it, and then the interior is uh, sort of where you would step in with your Sims. You'd move in and probably do it up a little bit and make it look a little bit nicer. Because uh, there's obviously no decorations on the walls or anything, which makes it look very plain. Uh, so you you definitely want to add some of those in as you as you played. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this house building video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The download link may or may not be in the description, depending on whether I put it up yet or not. Uh, but keep an eye out for that. That will be up in the future. Uh, here's the last few screenshots and the floor plan. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you next time and have an awesome day. Bye.